In lecture 8 I mentioned that I would be talking about the Union Jack in the next lecture and this is lecture 9 so we're going to look at the Union Jack another flag lecture 8 we, look, we looked at the flag of Israel and we're going to look at the Union Jack because it's quite an interesting flag I might mention at the end about the American flag but we'll see how time goes this is the Union Jack and it actually comprises of three flags of one into one and they are the the English flag which is the Red Cross and the Scottish Scottish uh, white saltar on a on a on a blue background and then there is the Irish saltar which is a red saltar on a white background and they come together as one to make the Union Jack. You can look on Wikipedia on the history or any uh, history online, history or textbooks you'll find about the Union Jack and how it came about, why it was called Jack. Um, some say it was because it was used as a, a flag for the ships. Um, but whichever way you look at it, this is the flag that we have today. It is missing the Welsh emblem, a Welsh flag. Uh, that's not included. It's um, again, that's a bit of controversy as to exactly what it is. Uh, whether it's um, a red dragon. So that's not on it. But we will look at actually the composition of the Union Jack and how these things are connected in the in the gematria. So my main aim is to show that nothing is by chance, that there <coughs> is a reason for everything and therefore Gematra shows the inner relationship between things that these things exist because of some destined plan. So first of all we'll look at the flag of England it is a red, a red cross and we'll go through each one and then we'll go back to the whole lot together. So I should use red, why not? Um, I don't know if it comes out very well, but we'll start with red. I think the red from this one is actually better. So, okay, flag of England. Our first gematria of the evening is the fact that the flag of England is representing both Wales and England together. It's interesting that Wales is, a, is, is different to the other countries that, uh, <coughs> that all end in land. So you've got Ireland, you've got Scotland and England, but you don't have a Wellland or Wellsland. It's different. So, first of all, we'll look at the flag of England. Now, if I take, well, I think what I'll do first is to recap on the four systems that we've used so far. The four systems that we used, for those who have not seen the other um, lectures, which best to do so, I'm just going to take the word cat. And cat has a placement value, that's the, the value that the letter takes due to its placement. So C is the third letter, so it takes three. A is the first letter, so it takes one. T is 20, the 20th letter. <coughs> and that will give you a gematria, a total gematria of 24. And I call that the PV, so I'm going to stick PV there, the placement value. The next one we looked at was the large value, where we looked at three, and the word three... equals 56. It equals 56 using the placement values. T is 20, H is 8, R is 18, E and is 5. So add that all together you get 56. A is 1, gives you 34, and that's 20, and that gives you 107. Now if we add those together, we'll get another value. We call that the large value. Over this side, I'll put the normal value, which is borrowed from Hebrew. C is 3, a is 1, and T is 20, because, <coughs> sorry, 200. And that goes in a decimal way. There goes A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J is 10, 1 to 10. And then it's K is 20, L is 30, all the way up to S, which is 100, T is 200, and so on. And then the normal inner values, where we take 
again, what we did over here, 3 is 56, 1 is 34, and the word 200 now, that was 20, this is now 200, 200 is 132, and we add those up, and we get the totals, and that's what I call the NIV value, the N value, the PV value, and the, and the LV value. So, having said that, as a brief summary of the four main systems, we're, we're going to look at Flag of England, Flag of England, this has an, an NIV value of 833. I think I was going to use the red colour, but never mind. So, 833 is the NIV value. That was the fourth one I just showed you. If we take the word Wales and the word England, and we're going to combine them together, and we're going to use the NIV value again. So this gives us 400. And this one gives us 433. And we get 833 as the NIV value. It's a strong connection because we're using the same system in both. And therefore there's a, a tie between England and Wales within the flag of England. So next... We're going to look at what the flag of England is. It's a red cross. Now, the red cross is the flag of George, St. George. St. George is the patron saint of England. And George, we'll show the connection between George and England first. George has a placement value of 57. That's PV. Okay, that's 7 plus 5 is 12, and 15 is 27, 18 is 37, 45, 50, 57. If I do the same thing for England, you can check it again. 5, 14, 7, uh, 12... 1, 14, bleh, 14 and 4. Never add those all together. I will also get 57. So we have a connection between the patron saint of England, George, and the word England. Coincident? I don't think so. So next we're going to look at the colour. So we have the phrase, well I shall use the red one, St. George's Cross. Okay, we're going to use the placement value. The placement value for this is 189. You can check me out on that, 189. And then we're going to take the word red and we're going to use the NIV value. NIV R is 87, 42, plus 60, and you'll find that will come up to 189. That's the NIV value, that's the placement value. Here we have crossing over of different systems. Uh, I think I've had a few, given you a few examples of those uh, in earlier lectures. These are these are crossover because once you get into the energy, the energies are the same. If you're going to say, for example, let's look at heat and sound. So if you have 500 joules of heat energy and you want to convert that to sound, if it was to be totally converted to sound, so it would be 500 joules of sound energy. And they would both contain exactly the same energy. So this is a sort of conversion. Sound and heat, of course, are completely different, but they can be converted from one to the other. Okay, now we come to um, Britain. Now, this is just an interesting side. We'll actually see the significance of this a bit later. 
We'll look at the word Britain. Now we're going to use two values here. We're going to use Britain. We're going to use here's the word Britain, and we're going to use the large value. 460 and we're going to use the normal value which is 361. We add that together we get 821. I call that the LNV value. It's just a combination of the two. Can't give a special name to every system. <coughs> so that's Britain. If I take Great Britain I will now use the NIV value. NIV value of Great Britain is the same. is 121. That flag of Great Britain is red and white. So now I'm going to find out what is the normal value of red and white. Red has a no sorry white has a normal value of 722 red has a normal value of 99 and that gives you a normal value add them together of 821 so we have that number occurring three times with britain great britain You might be thinking, can I do this with every single flag in the world? Uh, so I'll um, think about trying to write another book on that, but any of you guys want to have a go, come up with anything interesting, do let me know. Um, at the moment I've only done Israel, United Kingdom, and a little bit. I'll just share one example of America at the end. So, <coughs> excuse me. Okay, yes, so we're going to look at the flag of Scotland. And the flag of Scotland is a white saltire and it's on a blue, back, black, blue background. The blue background isn't really symbolic of any saint, it's the white, it's the white uh, saltire that is. Um, but there's an interesting gematria on this because if I take flag of Scotland and that will give me 954 for a large value and if I take blue rectangle That will give me 954 as an NIV value. So we have a relationship between the fact that the flag of Scotland is based on a blue rectangle. Now, the patron saint of Scotland is St Andrew. And that is the flag of St Andrew. So is St Andrew related to... Island, is he related to the colour white? Well, first of all, we'll look at the colour white. Andrew, which one other colour? We'll give him blue. Andrew has a placement value of 65. 1 plus 14 is 15, 4 makes 19. Plus 18, 29, 37, plus 23 and 37 is 60, plus E is 5 is 65. So, okay. Now we've got to match that up with the colour white. And white is 65. So we have a, a match between Andrew and the colour white. Next, we're going to look at 
St. Andrew. I'm just going to put St. Andrew here. So we've got two words now, St. Andrew, and we're going to use the large value, which we haven't used for St. Andrew, so we'll rub that off. The large value of St. Andrew, that's together, St. Andrew, is 849. Now we look at white, we've had white, the pavement value is 65. It has a large value of 403, that's the large value, and it has a normal inner value of 381. That's the normal inner value. So now I've got three values, and I'm going to add those together, and I'm going to get 9, 6 and 8 is 14, 4 and 3 is 7, plus 1 is 8, 849. Now, because the placement value and the large value together gives what I call the whole value, I call this the W... N I V value. It's a combination of three and it's showing the relationship between white and St. Andrew. So we have one direct relationship, Andrew and white is both 65, and we have another for St. Andrew, colour white <coughs> comes in again. <coughs> Excuse me. So, okay, next. Um, I haven't connected, let's see if I've written it down here. Um, Andrew to Scotland. Quick look. Uh, have a look at it in a minute. Let's see if I actually connected Scotland and Andrew together, or Scotland and White. Doesn't look like it did. Okay, we're going to look at Ireland. Ireland is the red salt tire, which somewhere over here. Okay, there we are. The rest of the time. That's for the patron saint of Ireland, who is Patrick. So, first of all, we're going to connect Patrick to the Red Saltar. And that we start off with the Red Saltar. We'll try it in red. And that has a large value of 646. And then Patrick Patrick has, I haven't broken it down in my notes, but um, it's equal to 646. And that is the PNIV value. That is the placement value plus the normal inner value together gives 646, which is the red soil tire. So we have a commercial connection between uh, Patrick and <coughs> his cross. Um, yeah, there I, have, I do have the breakdown here. The, 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 um, I have the break, breakdown for this one, actually. Ah, no, something interesting. That's it. I'm going to break this down. Uh, I'm going to break it down to red, saltire. Okay. Now, the large values, what we've got up here, because red is 175, large value. And the uh, saltire is 471, large value. Which we add together, we get 646 six up there. Okay, but what's interesting is that the large value of Patrick is 471, which is the same thing as Sol Tyre. So he's connected to that diagonal cross. And we have another interesting one. Well, well that's what we've done, that one. That one equals... The, the total together. So we have a connection between the the patron saint Patrick and the red soul tire. Now we're going to look at Ireland and see if there's a connection between Ireland and the colour red. So I take the word Ireland 
and we're looking at the normal value. I is 9, R is 90, 5, 30, 1, 50, plus 4. And that will give me a value of 189. Okay, 189. Just cut out of the tens. 50 and 30 is 80, plus 90 is 170. 179 plus another 9 is 180. 9, 188 plus 1 is 189. Okay, so that is the normal value. Okay, then we're going to look at the red and we're going to look at we're going to look at the NIV value of red because the NIV value of red is 189. This is the normal value, this is the NIV, normal inner value <coughs> of red. Interestingly enough, if I take IRE, remember island is just the first letters and land, and I'm going to use now the placement value, which is 32. All right, that's 18 plus 9 is 27 plus 5 is 32. And I'm going to take the large value, is 157. The large value and add those together I get 189. So I've got a connection with island to the colour red in two ways. Now the red salt tire is that connected to island um, in an interesting way. So we've got the word island and let's give it a bit of room. So we've got island is 63, that's the placement value. And we're going to add to that its large value, which is 442. So done this a bit further over. And I get 505. That I call the, I call that the whole value. I want to rub it all out again. Let's move it over. So we had 63 plus 442 plus 505 is the whole value. Now I'll do this again, but this time I'm going to use the total value, which is not total value, the normal value, which is 189 we had before. And now if I add those together, I get 252. And that I call the total value. When I add the normal value, NV, plus the placement value, I get the total value. This is all historic, because when I first started discovering all these things, these systems, um, uh, I sort of discovered that first, and I thought, well, that's the whole value, because it's the large value plus the placement value. And the normal value in the when I've discovered the normal value and added to the placement value, and I saw that had a significance, I call that the total value. But I also discovered that you can add the two together. And you get 757, 757, <coughs> and I call that the complete value. That's before I discover the normal inner value. So I have seen this a few times, not very often, uh, this combination. It does seem that the placement value can be added to other systems more than once and it can be added also to the sum of squares and you'll still you'll get a, an interesting connection. They're a bit more remote so might not have as great a meaning. Now I'm going to take the red saltire and I'm going to use the placement value which is 111 and I'm going to use the uh, value we had at the top for the large value, which was 646. That was the, check again, yes, the large value. And that gives us a whole value of 757. It does get complicated, doesn't it? So now I have a, a relationship between Ireland and the red salt tower. So we've done the different um, countries 
the three main countries. So I'm going to just look at the Union Jack now. And we're going to see how some interesting things come out from that. Let's look at, first of all, the country, the United Kingdom, which comprises of Northern Ireland, Scotland, Wales and Great Britain. I think Great Britain means, means Wales and, and Scotland, uh, Wales and England. Um, so it's England, as <coughs> that's the, the country that's added. So if we look at, uh, first of all, United Kingdom, interesting connection here. The word United has a placement value of 73 and the word Kingdom has a placement value of 73. So they're both of the same placement value. United Kingdom. Kingdom is to unite the people. Let's look at the word Union Jack. Union Jack, quite, quite strange the word Jack. <laughs> they called a flag a Jack. Um, but the word Jack if we look at the, the normal value, J is 10, A is 1, C is 3, and K is 20, J, K, that gives me 34, that's the normal value. If I take the word 1, and look at the placement value, which is 15 plus 14 plus 5, I will get 34. So we see here <coughs> a relationship between the word Jack and 1, because the unit Jack is uniting these three countries, or four countries, as one, one entity. I think after this lecture you might consider whether Scotland should um, split from England and have their own uh, autonomy, uh, or whether they should stay and we should keep the Union Jack. So, the Union flag, it's called not just the, um, the uh, Union Jack, it's also called the Union flag. So we've got a, a placement value here, the Union flag <coughs> is 132, that's the placement value. And it's made up of red, white and blue. And that is 27 plus 65 we had before. Blue we had in the last lecture is 40. If we add that together, we'll get 132 as the placement value. So we can see now a connection of these three colours in the one flag or the Union flag. The Kingdom of England has been the term used for both Britain or England and Wales. So I'll just show you an interesting connection there. We have the Kingdom of England. And that equals 184. And we put Great Britain. Oops. Great Britain plus we'll add Wales and we will get 184 as the placement value again. So these are both placement values. Great Britain Wales equals the Kingdom of England. Another interesting gematria. that finishes my notes in the book but I made this actually this lecture is based on a leaflet I made some years back uh, I didn't do a lot of work on it at that time but I had some interesting things <coughs> so I'm going to show what's on this leaflet first commentary I show is the Union Jack so we're going to look at the Union Jack and we're going to look at the normal value, Union, Jack. We have a normal value of 
four, six, nine. And a normal value, which we just had before, of 34 for Jack. And that gave 503 normal value. Okay. Union Jack, it was 503. Then, because white is sort of the background, but not really, because white is actually part of the intrinsic, um, intrinsic flag of Scotland. But nevertheless, at this time, I was just looking at red and blue. We have red plus blue. And red has a placement value, red and blue together, <coughs> 27 and 40, is 67. That's the placement value, P. V. And it has a normal value, NV, of 436. And we add those together and we'll get 503. But if we use the large value, the large value of red and blue, which is actually 175 and 328, we will also get 503. So that's the large value. And this is the total value, which is the placement value plus the normal value is the total value. And I get the same number uh, in two ways for red and blue when they come together. And the Union Jack is 503. Now, this perhaps touches on something a little bit more deep and esoterical, which I'm not going to go into here which is the concept <coughs> of the union between the two messiahs. One is called the Messiah, son of David. The other is called the son of, of Joseph. Joseph had two sons. Joseph had Manasseh, or Manasseh and Ephraim. And Manasseh and Ephraim were in the northern kingdom of Israel. And it was destroyed, the northern kingdom of Israel was destroyed by Sennacherib about 100 years before the temple in the southern kingdom was destroyed. And some have a um, theory, perhaps they've got a proof of this, that some of the tribe of Ephraim ended up in Scotland. <coughs> and that Mary, Queen of Scots, actually descended from the tribe of Ephraim. And that would answer why, because I think the Queen of England present Queen of England, descends from the Mary Queen of Scots, and uh, why the royal family are, are circumcised. They circumcise their boys. So, there may be something in this, and there might be something rather a little bit more hidden and com complex for me to go into at the moment, uh, but the idea of the red and blue is connected to the idea of the royal red and the royal blue, that there's blue blood and there's red blood, and this is symbolised also in the ceremony that took place during the Feast of Tabernacles when they took water and wine and they poured it down a special uh, sort of jug on the corner of the altar in the temple and there were two, um, two uh, like pipe like holes that they went down into a chamber underneath the altar <coughs> and those, uh, those water which was, is the colour blue and the wine is the colour red, meet down there and I was supposed to get down there at the same time because the, the, the one for wine is wider than the one for water because wine is more viscous and it's the idea is that they could travel down and come together at the bottom. So this idea of the union between the Messiah, son of Joseph, and the Messiah, but son of, of uh, David could be, but I'm not seeing anything written on it, could be symbolised in the Union Jack, which is the bringing together of the two colours of red and blue. Um, so, uh, just a few more just to finish off. Um, okay, I've got here a Union Jack. I've got the Union Jack, Union Jack, and I'm looking at two values. I'm looking at the placement value, which gives me 98. 
And then looking at the large value, 6, 4, 8. And I'm adding those together to give me 7, 4, 6, which gives me the whole value. And that's the whole value of Union Jack. If I look at the following phrase, hmm, not quite sure I'm going to fit this on. It's, excuse me, I'm going to snooze. <coughs> I've been under the weather a little bit, but getting through. The flag of of the United <coughs> Kingdom Kingdom of Northern Northern Ireland Scotland and Wales equals 746 placement value. We have the flag of the United Kingdom of Northern Ireland, Scotland and Wales all equals the same as the Union Jack. And I've got one more. This one is also quite long. Your homework for this week is to check all my calculations. Um, I've done that already. So the last one is white saltar and Red Sultai. You can see I'm dyslexic. Get it all wrong. And Red Cross equals 380. And that's all the placement value. All in the placement value. White Sultai, Red Sultai, and Red Cross, 380. And now I've got England, 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 England plus Northern Ireland plus Scotland plus Wales equals 380. How about that? So we've got the white saltire, red saltire, the red cross, all together is England, Northern Ireland, Scotland and Wales. Okay, so we can't split them, otherwise it will ruin all my gematries and I'll have to start all over again. <coughs> so, that is the Union Jack. And is it by chance? Quite complex, but there seems to be some interesting connections here, which, well... I don't think that's all by chance, but just to just to give you a little taste of the American flag, you know that American flag. I haven't got a picture of it, but you know the American flag has got 50 stars on it for the 50 states, which includes um, Alaska's, which is one of the states, and America, America. Is one plus thirteen plus five doing this long hand so that you can see it's true. Okay, one and thirteen is fourteen plus five is nineteen plus eighteen is thirty seven. Thirty seven plus three is forty. Nine and one is ten. Ten and forty is fifty. So the word America has a placement value of fifty and it has fifty states. Of course. They did it that way because they knew the Gematria and they decided, well, America equals 50, we've got to have 50 states. I mean, that's just obvious, but somehow I don't think so. But there we are. We've had a look at the Union Jack and we've seen last week the, the uh, flag, last uh, lecture, the flag of Israel. And we've seen a little bit on America. If you want to know more about the, the number 13, because it's got 13 lines, uh, the 13 original states, then you can read my book called the 
think I've got it in this poem. It's called The Secret of the One Dollar Bill. It's probably not here. Yeah, typical of all the books that are missing on my list. Um, it's the one on the one dollar bill. Well, if you're interested in that book, I shall stick it down in the um, in the description below, and I shall give you a link to Amazon where you can buy it. But there I show this thing that's of number thirteen. Interestingly, the number thirteen, um, the number thirteen, the Hebrew word for one is echad. And echad is one, the, well, it doesn't matter if it's normal or the, or the uh, placement value, because it's all in the units, is 13. Echad is 13. So in Hebrew, we talk about 13, is also connected to unity and one. It's also connected to the idea of love, because in Hebrew, love is ahava. And aleph is one, he is five, base is two, he is five. Is also 13 because love unites and brings things together. So, on that note, I will wish you all the best and uh, um, we'll be back again for lecture 10 in the not so, so distant future. So, have a good week. Be well.